Hi everyone. In today's video, we'll be continuing the story for the Bard and building my first ever ship in Minecraft. Overwhelmingly, your choice from the last video was to take a merchant up on his offer, have him become your patron. So I hope you all enjoy the direction your choice has taken the story and sit back for the next instalment of the life of the Bard. You don't even think twice about accepting the merchant's offer. To this point, your life has been base level survival. With the merchant's help, you could reach your full potential as an artist. You don't concern yourself with his comments stating he had his own motivations for his choices. In your experience, everyone does. At least he was upfront about it. That's fantastic, the merchant beamed. His enthusiasm seemed the most genuine positive emotion you had seen in a long time. The warmth of the man was infectious, and he couldn't help but smile. I have something to show you. You follow him towards the docks. The silhouette of a large ship comes into view. My latest acquisition. You own a ship? You're surprised. The amount of silver required to buy a vessel like this would keep most men comfortable for their entire lives. Actually, I own five. This stops you in your tracks. A simple merchant, hey? You muse quietly. He laughs at your stunned face. You see the man in a new light. You knew when he saved your life he was more than a simple merchant, but you never expected this kind of wealth behind a man walking alone at night with just a stick for protection. You think over the options he gave you. When you first met he was referring to you as Evron. You would like to know more about the word and its effect on you when you hear it. You have no doubt it is to do with your bloodlines. As you often do when thinking on this topic, you absentmindedly scratch your ears hidden under your hat. His smile fades a bit at this movement. He reaches out and pulls your arms down. It's not something to be self-conscious about, he says to you. You know there are places in Kalum that you could go that you wouldn't have to wear that. You stare at him stunned. Your scarred ears have always led you to being ridiculed and shunned by the populace. But before we go into all that, there are a couple of things we will need to get you to achieve before I will find you again, and we can find a use for you. It is of course your choice in which order you do these opportunities, but you will need to do both. I am ready, you say to him. You feel that this moment is something you have deserved your whole life, the hardships you have endured, the back alley taverns you have been forced to play in just to feed and clothe yourself. And if you have to sing the farmer's disappointing rooster one more time, you may just give up the life of a bard altogether. He smiles. First, we need to teach you to fight. I have a few connections that can train you. You can learn the spear, the sword, the bow. He leans in closer and whispers. Of course, you can also choose to learn manis magic if you wish. Your dropped jaw makes him laugh that hearty laugh that he is so generous with. Let's just say the same reason you have those scars is the reason your aptitude for other art forms may be enhanced. He goes on to warn you though that learning an art like that can be humbling and brutal. It suggests learning a more traditional discipline such as weaponry would be the smarter way to go. So what will it be? The question hangs in the space between the two of you as your mind whirls with the opportunities laid before. Thanks for watching everyone, we have multiple choices for this one. We could of course run off and learn Manus Magic, but that may come at a cost if pursued too early. The other options are the spear, the sword or the bow. Let me know what you would choose and what direction you would like to take the bard. We'll see you next time.